So hyperhidrosis is a medical condition where patients will sweat uncontrollably and excessively from either their scalp or the palms of their hands or the soles of their feet. And the sweating isn't necessarily stimulated by climate, excessive heat, or social situations. It can happen at rest um, or even when it's cool. It can not only affect a patient professionally, um, meaning if someone drives for ride share and their hands are constantly wet and they can't grip the steering wheel, or they're a teacher and they're trying to write on their board and their hands are just drenched and they can't hold the marker or the piece of chalk. It can also affect them socially. You know, they'll want to avoid social situations or even certain professional situations because they're uh, anxious or embarrassed about the excessive sweating. So there are several options for patients who suffer from hyperhidrosis. Most commonly, the first thing that patients will try is a, a topical agent, usually something with aluminum in it, to help um, their excessive sweating. In addition to that, some patients can get electrolysis uh, treatments, and then also Botox, believe it or not, is an option for patients with hyperhidrosis. Botox, as with most things, is not permanent. Um, just like when you get it for cosmetic reasons, it's not permanent for hyperhidrosis either. But it can be a good test run for patients uh, to see if it is possible to stop their sweating. And then the last option for patients is a surgery. Um, so that surgery is something called a sympathectomy. What we do is it's a couple, two small incisions on either side of the chest in between the ribs, and we go in with a little light and camera, and there's a small little nerve that runs up and down along each side of the spine. And so we'll go in on one side and we enter those nerve fibers and then we go to the other side and do the same thing. Each side takes about 20 minutes um, so it's a pretty quick and straightforward procedure. For the topical agents or the Botox, that's usually done by a dermatologist. Uh, so a lot of times patients will be referred first to them. But for a uh, sympathectomy, it should be done by a thoracic surgeon who's trained in minimally invasive thoracic surgery, who's comfortable operating in the chest, can easily identify uh, the sympathetic chain because it is a very small structure, um, and someone who's comfortable managing patients after surgery on their chest. Recovery is usually pretty quick because it's small incisions. There's very, usually very little pain, um, usually very little downtime. I tell most patients that by the time they come back to see me for their post-op visit in two to three weeks, they're pretty much back to normal. The important thing to know though for patients who have this surgery is that with every surgery, there's a risk of complications. And the biggest thing that can happen for patients after this surgery is something called compensatory sweating, where they will actually start to sweat in other parts of their body. So I always warn patients ahead of time that I may be fixing the excessive sweating in your hands or your feet or your armpits, but that the sides of your uh, chest or your abdomen may start to sweat instead. <music>